The time has come. Magical hand portal, come to me. Had to check my footing for a second there, and I didn't trust it. For a briefest moment, I thought there wasn't actually a platform there. I'm like, no, something's gone wrong. What have I done? Survivor of the breach. Herald of change. Hero of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. It's not too late to put our weapons down and talk. There's no need to pretend that you're blind to what you've begun. I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. Is that what Dragon's Breath is for? Murdering our heads of state just to control our magic? Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? That its consequences stopped there? The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why would you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Dargarad. Oh yeah, he's being va as vague as humanly possible for as long as possible. I mean, she is. So we can't go revealing the, what's going on, or... Uh, our characters will suddenly understand what's the, what their situation is. And that'd be a problematic for everybody. Hey everybody! Time for the fun times! That's the wrong button, here we go. There's the fun button. How's that for a shatter combo? Oh dear lord, all those numbers popping up. There's a lot of numbers popping up. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Am I even using stamina right now? Well, there goes their entire army. How you guys feeling right about now? This guy's not putting much of a fight, as it turns out. I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Alright, sweet. I guess I'll just slowly work my way over there. Oh, I had that much sta- <laughs> That's amazing. The reason I had that much stamina in the first place was because this character has an item that gives him stamina regeneration for every kill. And I had so many consecutive kills as a result of this crazy whirlwind that I just could spin forever and just destroy their entire party. That's fantastic. Alright, let's put, let's put down my AoE bubble. Cause some damage to these people. There we go. I get so much stamina regeneration just from attacking people that I could sit here and just keep spamming that. And just have my bubble up forever, apparently. Causing AoE damage to everybody and adding an effect to my attacks. It's not a bad plan. Oop. Should've ripped some health out of that guy. Did he just fly into the sky? What in the world? Alright, well that got weird. Start clawing at him for a while. Oh, there goes all my hit points. Alright, that was a bad- that might have not been the best plan. Vivian! Regenerate some stamina real quick. There we go. He's back! It's a Christmas miracle! Ow. Owie. Rude. Do not appreciate that behavior, excuse me. Alright. Is he... What's that circle over there? Ow! Cerebus. Is he the- he must be the boss enemy- the boss enemy of this group. Cause he is weirdly- he is weirdly challenging. Uh oh. Nope, could not get out of danger bubble in time, apparently. Well, Basti is more than capable of holding his own, so I guess we'll hang out for a little while while some... Uh-oh. There, I got, actually made it out of that time. I'm just waiting for my revive to come back. There we go. Everyone get up! We got things to do. Oh, bubble. Bubble of death. Alright, now, now bubble those guys. There we go. Freeze that asshole. Oh, oh, that was probably that's probably bull. Oh, bubble. There we go. Oh, still hit me. My bad. Alrighty, we made it. Well, that kind of hurt. Basti, if you please. 
Alright, well that guy was not friendly, as it turns out. What did he drop for me? The Davad King the Darvarad Kingstone and Stinking Cheater, a shield that has five constitution, critical chance. Let's see, on, on hit, chance to spawn a toxic cloud at target location. Interesting. So it has a chance of, of uh, it has a chance of, uh, instead of, I think my current one does repulsive damage whenever I get attacked. And this one can, uh, sp can spawn a toxic cloud, so it's like an offensive attack. Tethered note, the scrap of parchment is written in both Kunlat and the common tongue, although the letters in Kunlat are shaky. Please excuse my Kunlat, its subtleties elude me even with your patient teaching. We pulled everyone out of the palace. The Shem nobles assem assumed we were servants leaving on an errand. We are hiding where you told us, waiting for signs that Dragon's Breath has begun. Victory is the Kun. No wonder the Kunari translated notes into our language. It was for their non-Kunari spies. They'd have to. Kunlat's not an easy one to learn. Interesting. So th that would have to that specific spy would have to be an elf, right? Cuz elves call humans Shem, if I remember correctly. We have a chest upstairs. Cuz of course I'm exploring around. Interestingly, they they refer them to they refer to them as as Kunari and non-Kunari even though we're talking to people who are loyal to the Kun and thus should probably be called Kunari by by my understanding. Let's try that again. I looked, it almost looked like I could do that, but I just did it wrong. Bad timing or something. Oh, that's that's even worse timing. I didn't even jump that time. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. Superb amulet of evasion. The wearer of this amulet has a large chance of dodging incoming attacks. Just in general? Just, just in general gives you a bunch of dodge chance? Alright, well, let's look at who might benefit from that. By myself what our amulets are. You're wearing the barrier amulet. You're wearing amulet of second wind. Which is the one that gives you stamina after killing, which is why he why we obliterated all of them. You're wearing a cooldown amulet. Giving them dodge might be good. You're wearing a set. Alright. You're wearing cooldown, so it'd probably be better to give you just one that, the one that helps with dodges, maybe? Well how much of a how much of a cooldown is that? 15%? It might be really worth it still because of the fact that she has to be able to use certain spells like revive. But a dodge chance would be nice. Nah. They're going to hold on, hold on to cooldown for now. I don't know if I want to give anyone the dodge one right now. Everyone has some pretty cool items. That's a destroyed uh, mirror. Alluvian. You really did have to go that way to get there. The Risk of Sarabas. This sheaf of notes is written mostly in Kunlat, but select paragraphs have been translated into the common tongue. Those born outside the Kun will not comprehend the seriousness of, the, of using mages to help us. They believe the worst can befall a mage's demon position, possession. They do not truly understand the loss of mastery comes with a loss of self. Those of the Kun since birth do not understand why we risk Cerebus, using Cerebus. We have immersed them in a sea of magic until it seems impossible they could ever do anything but drown. It is right that we enlighten you so our purpose here is clear. We have learned from this place that there lived an elven mage who saw a great wrong and sacrificed all to right it. This mage made the veil, which protects us from the Fade. The veil stripped power from his rulers, who had threatened their people with such excess that it makes the southern kings and queens seem staid. Thus does every action carry rightness and all paths converge. In his greatest magic, the elven mage became an agent of peace through the veil. In our willingness to brave this place, we may discover how the veil can be strengthened through our own mages. For that we risk our lives. The Cerebus, who have joined in the endeavor, understand the dangers and have made their choice. Remember the words of Ashkari Koslun. Existence is a choice. There is no chaos in the world, only complexity. Knowledge of the complex is wisdom. From wisdom of the world comes wisdom of self. Mastery of the self is mastery of the world. Loss of the self is the source of suffering. Suffering is a choice and we can refuse it. It is our power to create the world or destroy it. For peace we will endure any horror here. We will create a safer world or destroy the old one. That's severe. These are Vidasala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. A way to clamp down magic? 
No wonder she's here. It explains why the Kunari thought it was worth camping here. Oh yeah, she's here because she thinks she can wipe out all of magic. Period. Let's take another look around. There's so many staircases around here. Is this another broken alluvian? I wonder, did the Kunari break any of them or were they already broken? They could have... They could almost could have been closing off paths they didn't need so nothing could get them. Or something totally different could be happening. They could have broken long ago too. Oh, there's the giant broken... That's the broken hallway we were in before, so there was no way across. It was just a preview of how to get here. If that had not been broken, we wouldn't have had to gone through all that trouble. Visitors, patrons, welcome. The halls are open. Can you tell me where a Kunari called the Vidasala went? Yes, we heard much. Although she fooled herself into thinking we could not hear. Take a keystone to the Davarad. I will join you there soon and take stock of our remaining Gatlock powder. I found a keystone with one of the Kunari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davarad. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the paths. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. You've been very helpful. Gildethan was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One Elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. He just, oh, there we go. There's that bridge. We've got to find this Davarad and corner Vidasala there. We have to go to the Davarad, which apparently is across that bridge, but of course I'm going to look around. Because what else do I ever do? Alright, so walking fortress. So handy for this type of situation. I've gotten so used to the capabilities of my specific Kunari character. It's hard to imagine otherwise. Tier 3 bow. Interesting. It is almost hard to imagine my character having any other capabilities. So I spent so much time with him having these. Is he- nope, he died. Alright. I was somewhat hoping that just maybe, uh, Vasti would somehow not take damage, like he would teleport to me. No such luck. Oh well, that's one way to blow through the potions. <laughs> that's what I get for not just patiently waiting for the cooldown to come back for Walking Fortress. Just gonna scrape up and down each room that we haven't checked yet. Hello, chest. A lot of exploring to do around here. Superb amulet of critical chain. Every time the wearer of this amulet doesn't land a critical hit, his critical hit chance increases greatly. Interesting. It's, I think it said, it said warrior or mage only, though. So it's not a rogue item. It's good for it's good for spiking crits, which could be good for. Let's see, I think Vivian might do something special when she crits. Oh, there's nothing to jump up there towards. What am I doing? Anything over here? I think I already checked this area, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright, so. Now we're all set. Now it's time to return to the Winter Palace. The faster way probably would have been to go through here, but it's apparently closed? Interestingly, it's not broken. It's just kind of weirdly red. Like maybe it's just sealed somehow. Alright. You can head back this way. I just realized I don't look at my character directly. I look at the environment while I'm navigating it, but you guys might be looking at my character. This shield might be very distracting, huh? The, the constant pulsing. I kind of stopped registering at some point. But it's there. Just non-stop. Zoop, 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 zoop. They really, they really did get extra silly with all of these, uh... All this equipment. It's fun. I like the idea of having a bunch of super customized equipment. What it specifically reminds me of, actually, is, uh, Bastion. Uh, Bastion is a game where when you're upgrading your stuff, it's not about, like, this does two more damage. This gives you three more stamina. The usual RPG, like, numbers are changing. It does stuff like this where everything has a pers this has a chance of doing this, or when this happens, now this also happens, and, like, stuff like that, which I find to be very compelling ways of upgrading characters. It's actually an interesting thing that happens a lot in, I think, Shadow of Mordor also. It's like, it's really satisfying to level up your character in that game because all of the new abilities you get are actually like, this thing's different and changed somehow. Anyway, I think we're just going to be on autopilot all the way back to the Winter Palace, so I'll go ahead and see you guys when I get there. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? 
Yes, and in Val Royaux and across the Free Marches, the Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. There is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. I take it you have new information. The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canary spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. The Inquisition stopped Corypheus and saved the world. We can't let an outside threat change who we are. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies. You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Damn it. We save Ferelden and they're angry. We save Orle and they're angry. We close the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? Oh. I need to get to the Davarad. You all can fight amongst yourselves once I'm... Once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. That was an ominously sudden cut. Alright. Use the keystone to activate the alluvium leading to the Davad. Uh, the Dav uh, Davarad. It's all dark and stormy outside. Just to suit my mood. Can I walk out here still? Alright, so this is probably my last chance to talk to anyone. I want to double check. Let's see. Extended conversations happened with Sarah and Cole. I don't know about Varric. Oh wait, they might not even, let's check the map. They might even be here anymore. Oh yeah, there's no one here. If I missed a conversation with anybody, it's not, probably not going to happen at this point. Should I do a quick run around to see if something pops up? What's that? Paper dog. A collection of letters, invitations, urgent messages, and other sundry, sundry papers all addressed to the Viscount of Kirkwall. Someone has folded them into a shape of a Mabari sticking out his tongue. ha <laughs> ha. Varric, you, you are perfect. You keep being you. Especially since I'm starting to get the feeling it might be that I die in this- and I might die in this DLC. I'm starting to suspect that. Alright, so no more final rounds of talking to party members around town. It's time to activate the, the uh, Olivia leading to the Devarad. The Davarad. The Devura. The Devergerac. Alright. I'm sure everything will go fine, don't worry about it. Thank you. 
Your hand hurts. It's pulling you apart. No matter what happens, it has been my honor to fight beside each of you. We helped, all of us. I won't forget. Let us show all who would cross the Inquisition the price of their mistake. It's been an honor to kick asses beside you all. Anon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm totally dying in like the next hour, aren't I? <laughs> Alright. We gotta stop some global terrorism. Alright, everyone. Here we are. The Dovered. Where are we? It almost looks looks like they have a skyhold of their own. These are a lot of mirrors. Okay. Don't worry, we're all gonna get along famously. Hey guys. How you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, well. Shouty time. Oh, hello. That was a fun trick. <laughs> yeah, Iron Bull's uh, grappling ability has the ability to basically grapple everyone in the area. It's kind of amazing. Let's put some holes in this guy. Oh, that sweet stamina regeneration. So handy. How's it going, Ben Hasserath? You really would have been convenient of you to have some allies nearby, huh? Oh well, he tried. Let's go ahead and get rid of that AoE I had. Since it's clearly not going to apply anymore. Hey guys, come play with me. Whee! So I've got my AoE circle down and I'm, and I'm whirlwinding, but it looks like I'm going to run out of stamina at this rate before I can keep going. Oh, they knocked me back. That's one way to interrupt things. The Charging Bull's great for getting that little bit of guard that I need just to not die from random attacks. Whereas the, uh... I don't have to, I don't have to full-on tank because Vasti's so much better at tanking now. Ow! But AoE is always a risk. Let's take a chunk out of him. I need to restore some hit points. Oh, that didn't work out. Alright, Vivian. Oh god, Vivian. Try not to die here. Damage is happening in a very real way right now. What? I already used revive. When when did I revive if we don't have any party members to he here? Weird. Alright, Vasti, let's keep bubbled. Oh, look! There's Cole never dying again. Why does Cole never die? If you know why in the com- it t Tell me in the comments if you know why Cole is never staying dead. Because I don't really know what's going on. Is that the Taken shape? Does the Taken shape revive you periodically? Or is it because he's a spirit person? Does being a spirit making him not die? Illuvian studies. The writing on these pages is completely incomprehensible, even to a native speaker of Kunlat. The handwriting resembles the scratches of an inebriated chicken, but the drawings are meticulous. An excruciatingly careful study of several Illuvians, along with exploded diagrams of their inner workings. All right. That veil of fire is probably going to probably going to be handy to me. Let's go ahead and just preemptively grab that. So they've been studying everything about this place. This is, uh, studying the Illuvians has all been part of planning their attack. I wonder if that's the real reason why the Illuvian came up in the main story was to set up for this DLC's events. Since I, I assume they had plans for this already. We should hurry. Oh, he's doing poorly. Maybe Solus can help, please. Ow! Rude. Oh wow. They took out, uh, Iron Bull quickly. You just stay away. There we go. After charging it up a bit, I can revive Iron Bull. And the act of reviving him gave me more cooldown re reduction, which gave me the ability to, uh... What am I casting that against? <laughs> I'm not sure what, what my character thought he was using that on. Is something broken? I don't know what's going on there. Oh well. Is it spam- it does spamming that while it doesn't work? I wish I could say I'm surprised that Vitasala wants to murder everyone, but it makes sense. We tell stories about how corrupt the South is. Who wouldn't want to kill the evil nobles and save the people? Perhaps a little hard to argue, yeah. They think that they're all evil. That's the- that's the- that's the really gross thing about anything that talks about any group of people being evil. And it's why I'm inherently against that kind of thought process, is because it's never true. 
And it's mostly an excuse to be cruel towards another type of person. Watch the patrol. You want to take them out one at a time, fast, or we'll have a mess on our hands. Well, we already have a mess on our hands. There's an invisible guy headed over here. I see him too. He's hanging out over there. Can I AOE him? I wonder, can, can you just what am I dispelling at? Whoops. Can you dispel an invisible person? I see you. I see you over there. <laughs> uh, there he is. Now you're frozen. How's it feeling? Just gonna put some holes in you real quick. Let's do that proper bubble to keep everyone healthy. Not sure why I'm playing as Vivian so much. I see you. You spin me right round, baby, right round. There we go. There we go. Yeah, if anyone ever says a group of people is evil, then they're pr you're probably being manipulated and it's basically propaganda and it's basically what leads to all of the most cruel things that have happened in mankind's history. You know, happy things. Can you do anything about this? No, it's locked locked in a way that ro the rogues can't get past, apparently. Don't you feel useful, Cole? I feel like you're useful. Hey, buddy. Take a seat. Lulz. These guys look happy to see me. Let's have a welcoming attack. Ow. You, go, you broke my attack, asshole. Ow. You broke my everything now. I don't appreciate that one bit. Let's get some distance here before I die. Jesus. Alright. Iron Bull's up. And bubbled. And Vivian's healed. There we go. Just doing what I can to do some damage here. So my cooldown's already back for my revive. So that'll be very handy for us. Let's do a bubble. Keep the party going. There we go. This is going okay. Another bubble. If I keep casting that often enough, then they'll just be nice and healthy the whole time through. Just need to keep getting the right crits and stuff like that to proc my, uh, my cooldown reduction. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, they're self-managing just fine. They are self-managing just fine. All these goddamn colorful numbers everywhere. Good luck, good luck interpreting exactly what you're seeing on the screen. Belt of Retaliation. When the wearer of this belt is attacked, some damage is reflected back onto its enemies. Okay, Vasti, let's take a look at what your current belt is, because that's probably better. Accessories, belt, master guard belt, plus 40 guard max. But this one, eh, he seems to be doing great on guard. Like, he's, still, he's basically invincible. If he's aggroing everyone to attack him all the time, make, having a counter attack built in seems pretty goddamn useful, actually. Let's see, so that's the way in. Well, let's take a look around. What else can I find along those lines? Hey, friend. Take a seat. It's a research tower. Kill the researchers. We Just one lone Kunari Ben Hasrath agent. This ends well for him. There he goes. Sarath. This letter was clearly written a few lines at a time over the course of multiple days. As the ink at the start has already faded slightly. Elf who is Talus. It is no longer my role to instruct others in the coon, but I shall share what I can with you if it brings you peace. You are not alone in your struggle to achieve mastery of yourself and your purpose. Many Vidathari come to the coon filled with fear and anger. Those feelings build walls brick by brick within the self. They prevent you from seeing the others around you, from seeing the world as it is, and they convince you that you are alone in the, in the, and in darkness that you must f uh, fend for yourself. The walls are real, but the darkness and the solitude, the world that they create within itself, that is all illusion. You must work to tear down the walls if you wish to see the truth, and truth is, and the truth is this, no one is alone. It was the wisdom revealed it to Kozlun that the desert, in the desert long ago. What looks like solitude is connectedness, 
What looks like darkness is only the space between stars. The, this portion of the letter is slightly newer, and the handwriting, which was exceptionally tidy at first, has become somewhat looser, as if written in a hurry. And it is not just Vidathari who struggle with these illusions. The world changes the self, and must balance mastery upon its turning tides. Once I was an Ask Ashkari, and I spent my days examining the philosophy of the Kun and trying to seek the enlightenment of the, that Kuzlun found. But my dreams and demons took me down a new path. Here, the writing is filled with crossed out pa passages and the script has become shaky. Some of the ink is still wet. N n and now with the song liquid crossed out. And now I study the dam which holds back magic at its source. We will crossed out. It is our purpose to, crossed out. Things change, little Talus. The world changes. Find people in, find purpose in people around you and your role will be clear. Remember when, crossed out. It will be hard to find wisdom in the noise. The noise is an illusion, like the darkness, but the walls are real. Remember that. Tear down the walls first and you will seek the truth. Sarath. Did I just kill Sarath? Is that why he's alone in this tower? Did I just do something really kind of horrible? Uh, Talus, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure Talus is the girl who, uh, is played- she's the elf assassin played by Felicia Day in the Dragon Age 2 DLC. Red Lyrium. Do the Canari have any idea what they're dealing with? The song is different, but the pieces fit together. I think it was called Mark of the Assassin or something like that it was the DLC. 